What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about MAP and RxJS, one of the most common operators in all of JavaScript. MAP outside of RxJS is an incredibly important topic and it's one of those things that it's actually really easy. Like it's super easy to understand, but it's difficult to describe. And the way that I like to describe it is what if I gave you like the world's dumbest algorithm question and I told you, I want you to turn this array into this array. How would you do that? And there's a million different ways that you could, but the best way would to be just do a map on it. So you go X, you chain it on, uh, maybe not exactly like this, maybe your way would be different and you just times it. So you go map times two and what would happen is that each individual value would go and iterate on it. So it would go, essentially what map would do, it, it's like a nice, it's like a little magical machine. It's gonna go in there and it's going to go, put that into there. It's gonna go one times two, so one times two, and it's going to change that value for each one of them. So then it's gonna do the next one. So then it's gonna go one times two, one times two, and it's gonna iterate e over each one in the array, and it's going to change like the real values. That's another really important thing. It's not going to actually return a new array. It's not going to, even though I said it's a magical machine, there's nothing that's gonna come out on the other side of the machine. It's literally just going to do the changes on the array and present you back with all your twos. And that's very important in Angular and in Re uh, React and JavaScript as well too, because if this is state, if this is data that's coming back from a database, you don't want to have this in multiple parts in your class where it's changing. It would, it would almost be like if you had a bank account and the bank account was it didn't, there wasn't a single source of that data and your bank account number was just changing in all different places. You know that your bank account is correct if that number, when you look at the bank account number is correct simply because that is the single source of truth, if that makes sense. And it's not changing in multiple different places. Although I get that could be a good thing depending on how you look at it. So we're gonna go here and we're going to just actually code up a really simple example here. So we're gonna go import. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our observable and we're gonna go map. And we're gonna bring in a from. And if you don't know what a from is, um, I've got a video on it, but this, from is what allows us to actually turn our arrays into observables so that we can actually do work to them. I'm gonna go ahead and go up here, get rid of that. And, oh, let me see here. Oh, import from, I forgot to RxJS. So I'm going to go up here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. Observable. Be a good thing to put a dollar sign on the end of it because that is good convention. Then I'm going to go here. I'm going to go number array and a pipe. And then we're going to actually do the map. So here I'm getting confused because there's so many parentheses. So we're gonna go value, I think there's just one value, and then we're gonna times it by two like we did in our example. Oh my gosh, I got it first try. Sometimes you gotta wrestle with all those commas in there. So we're gonna go here, then we're gonna go return it, and we're just gonna call this return value. Observable.subscribe is equal to x, console.log x. Okay, so let's just kind of break down what's going on here. We're gonna take our array up here and what's gonna happen is very 
very similar to this. It's like almost the exact same thing. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go one. It's going to each value is going to go into our map and it's going to go inside of here where it's going to be times by our actual uh, expression right here. So let's go ahead and run it. See what happens. And looks like it works. Let's see what it prints out to the console. Hopefully it prints out a nice array for us. And would you look at that? It times everything by two. We have successfully learned what map is. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.